a simple happy new met flyer design in pixel lab hello creatives in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a very simple happy new met flyer in pixel lab just like this one so without wasting much time let's go into it <laughs> Alright, so the first thing that we usually do is to delete the original text over here, which you will probably delete right away. And right after doing that, the next thing to do is to change the color of your work background. So we are going to go with white for now, and probably change it later whenever we need another adjustment. Alright, so the next thing to do is to go ahead and input your text. Alright, depending on the method that you want to do the happy new met flyer for you write the mental over there so i'm going to delete this new test and i'll write april let's assume the happy new meant flyer is for april so i'll just type in april then i'll go ahead and change the color to black and right after that i'll go ahead and change the font as well so if you don't have access to my fonts, you can get them in the description below. I will leave the link over there. You can download all my fonts and use them. So I just selected Montserrat Black. So having selected Montserrat Black, I will increase the size of the text. Yeah, something like this. I think this is okay. That's 154 size then i'll put it at the middle by using the relative position tool great so once this is done the next thing to do is to import another test yes we are going to add another test so right after clicking on the test we just tap on edit and we are going to edit this one too as well so we are going to type right here happy new month. Now having done this, we are going to change the font as well. I got a little battery, but we got to do this. <laughs> so I'm going to change the font to Montserrat, either semi bold. Yeah, I think semi bold is okay. So having changed to semi bold, I'll reduce the size a bit. So having reduced the size, I'll make sure that I bring it down on top of the April. Now we've got to position it at the middle. Now having done that, we we'll go to spacing. Now from spacing, we will tap on the first one line spacing, then we stretch it a bit, just making sure that it is in alignment. Now. If you are struggling with alignment, you can use the grid tool right here. Pull it down, tap on this setting icon, then adjust it like this and like this. Just to make sure that you are getting a well fitting test onto your working space. Good. Now, when you get it like this, you can go ahead and increase. The size of your spacing a bit so that you get it fit perfectly onto your working area so now let's come back to the position to then make sure that we fit this thing onto the top of the happy of the April rather all right I think this is perfect now so you just have to tap on a check mark right here then we tap on the grid tool to hide it now after that we can just go ahead and change the color as well to any color that you really like let's say i want red i'll just go with red let's see that's what i want okay i'll just go with red now having written that the next thing to do is to add a shape and probably we are going to make it a bit hollow so look at this thing very clear what you're going to do right here is to increase the radius a bit now let me change the color of the shape so that you can see it when i'm making a change okay 
Now we are going to play with the radius of this shape. And so we get a perfect shape. You will still be playing with the radius. So watch it carefully and look at how I'm doing this. Alright, so when I'm okay with this, I'll just leave it and go. Okay, when I'm okay with this, I'll just leave it and go. So let's say this is what I want. I'll just come back and tap on a check mark, then I'm good to go. Now, the next thing to do is to make a copy of this, but before we make a copy of it, let's use the relative position tool to position it at the middle. Of the working space now let's go ahead and click on the copy and after clicking on the copy let's come back to edit now from edit we will have to reduce the opacity all the way down to zero percent now having reduced the opacity we come back to stroke and increase the stroke a bit okay then we also increase the size of the shape okay we are going to place it around the red one so let's just do that quickly making sure that we have a nice space that it can fill into all right so if you are okay with this then just have to tap on a check mark and you are good to go so this is what you'll be having over here now if you have a short message that you want to put across you can equally do that Okay, so let me just go back to the test and tap on copy. So I'm going to copy the happy new mint and just tap on edit. Then I'll go ahead and delete it. Then input probably any test that I want to put in over there. So I'll just put something like yes, you can do it. Just start it. Just Okay, just go ahead all right so let's assume this is the message i want to put on it okay so i, I may try to change it to capitalize form or leave it like this so let's leave it like this first and see how it will look note the color of the font is red so we are going to change it to white when you bring it onto the red background so before we go ahead with the changing of color, let's first of all bring the spacing back to normal. The spacing of the test, you can see that it's too wide, so we have to bring it back to normal. So let's do that quickly. Good, I think this is okay. Now we can go ahead and change the color to white, so that when we put it on the red, it will be showing clearly. Now, so we just have to go to the position tool, then bring it down. So we are bringing it down here. Good. I think this is this is okay. If if you want it to be like this, this is okay. But if you also want it your own way. You can go ahead and do that but basically this is how you can do it now the next thing that we'll do is to add a bending effect to it all right we just have to add a bending effect to this work so first off we just have to go ahead and save this work so we will save the work first so always choose ultra whenever you are saving okay so once you are done saving the work, just come back and tap on import, all right? Tap on import. That means if you want to still use the same background, just use tap on import and come and select the design that you just made, all right? So I have it right here and I'll just pick it, send it back to a working area. Then we are good to go. Now here is the work that I just did, okay? so. Basically, we'll be using this same white background. So what we have to do is to tap on a layer and just hide this 
previous ones because we don't need them again we've already used them so we just have to hide them now what we need is what is at the top right here this one alone now we want to add a bending shadow effect to it so we'll still go ahead and import our shadow effect so i already have it downloaded and i'll leave the link in the description so that you can also go ahead and download it Alright, so we have it here. We just have to tap on the check mark right here, then we'll have our shadow effect right here. So, all that we need to do is to place it beneath our work. Alright, so let's first of all change the background of the main work so that we see how our work is looking. Alright, so let's do that quickly. Great. so you can just place it here and you have your bending shadow effect right here okay so that's basically how to go about this and note there's only one thing that you have to take note of right here you can use any color at all for the background that means any color that is okay with you you can use red if you want something like this okay you can use yellow if you want something like this you can use any color at all that will suit your design all right you can even use the white itself if you want so this is how you can design a very simple happy monument flyer in Fizzle Lab. so thank you so much for watching this tutorial and i hope you've learned something from this tutorial please don't forget to give this video a like comment and share the video with others all right if you have not subscribed yet just go ahead and do that quickly as your subscription and comment will let us know that what we are doing is really impacting others so that we keep doing it the more all right so thank you so much for watching this tutorial and i'm going to see you in the next one pleasure